Hi guys. Just gonna park now so I'm gonna get oh here we go. Well as you can see I've got this one back up here. I sort of cut the wheels out. Hopefully the tires won't go down. I know the front one won't because that was a good tube I stuck in there for another wheel. Uh I'm not sure about the rear one. Seems to be holding so far. Um, they're a pair, matchy pair of tyres, which I prefer to do on a bicycle. I don't know. I'm that sort of thorough when it comes to tyres and wheels. They've got to be a pair for me. Um, which is kind of irking me on my um, Claude Butler, because I've got two different wheels on that. They're black rims, but they're different makes and different stickers and... Uh, I like, as I said, I like to have a matching pair, but that's all I could get at the time, so if I come across another pair or something, then I can whack them in. Anyway, I've gone over the handlebars with a nice coat of black paint after I rubbed them down with some uh, steel wool. Uh, so they've come up quite nicely, and I've got a speck of bloody dust and hair on there already. Oh well. Um, I'm going to polish up these levers just to clean them up a bit. Uh, but the main jobs left to do, the gears are all working, I ain't got to worry about those. I did have to swap the um, freewheel on the wheel though, because this wheel had a 6 speed on and I needed a 5 speed freewheel, which I actually happened to have outside on the cabinet, just outside the front door. I had two, two of them actually, because I wanted to put one on the um, gents. Magna mountain bike out front there because that's meant to be a 15 speed but someone's put a 6 speed or a wheel with a 6 speed free wheel on it so I was going to put that back to a 5 speed so um, yeah all the gears are all set up they're all working so I've got to worry about that all I've really got left to do <coughs> excuse me my, my throat went a bit dry let me just wet my whistle all I've got to do is put the rear brake back together and settle that up, set the front one up, change the seat pole, seat post rather if um, I've got a better one in the box. I know I've got one in the bag of bits over there but I think it's a, um, I don't think it's going to fit, I'm pretty certain the um, diameter of the seat post in my little bag over there is uh, a lot larger than this one. Uh, yeah, and put the seat on and that's done. Oh, I've finished cleaning it because I've only done this side. I haven't done the other side yet. Uh, and cleaned the wheel. So apart from finish cleaning it up as well, that's about it. There's, as far as repair jobs go, there isn't a lot to do. I want a lot to do on it in the first place. Um, as for that one, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to put this one together for my friend to use or the Magna outside. Um... Yeah, because I know this looks like a bit of shit, which it probably would to most people. But, um, with me, I see it differently. I see potential. Basically, just because it's got, well, when I've polished that frame down and cleaned all that mud off, it's going to look at least semi-decent or decent enough to reuse. Um, those brake calipers are coming off. Handlebars going to come off, and hopefully the stem will as well. Um, I think I'm just going to go through and put all new cables on it, so I'm just going to cut the cables. Um, I'll reuse whatever outers are reusable. don't really need to, because I've got a roll of um, brand new cable outer in there. I think I bought a couple of metres of it off eBay. One day I'll invest in a, a um, full box of um, outers. Outer cable, rather. Because I'm always using it for repairs and rebuilds and whatnot. And that does tick me off when I've got to go through all the good bits I've salvaged off bikes that have been scrapped. <laughs> Just to try and find one long enough. But I'd rather have a reel there so I can just put a brand new one. Because um, I've seen other people, um, seen others on YouTube do what I do as well. 
when you buy a brand new bike, you'll very often find that the outers for your gear cable down here are actually a lot thinner than the brake. Your brake outers. But what I do when I rebuild the bikes, I redo the cables. If I was putting on a new gear cable, I'll change them and I'll put the thicker gear cable on because the the um diameter of the hole in there is actually bigger on the brake cables because obviously the brake cable is a thicker cable but um, I do that because it's less likely for your ca gear cable to seize up especially if the bike hasn't been used for a while because um, I've been doing that for years and I've never once had a gear cable seize up in the outer on me so <laughs> that's why I do it and I've seen um, a few other bike guys on YouTube that do the same thing. I don't know why they do that. There's no need to have two different sizes, to be honest. I might as well, just from the factory, use the um, one size. Obviously, you're not going to get a brake cable through the um, smaller gear cable out. Because it's smaller. But you can get your gear cable down this. Oh, this. But that's going to be my next job when I've done that one. Now I've gotten into the mood for doing bikes. No, uh, oh, pardon me. Um, no, I could actually go and get the calipers to put on this if I wanted to. I was actually just thinking because I couldn't remember if I could actually get to the box or not, but yes, I can get to the box. Um, that ugly reflector off and put something different on. That's what I was going to look for for this as well. Um, it'd be nice if I could find a pair of mud guards. A pair of mud guards and a um, baggage rack to put on the rear of this. I think that would look nice. Because I've got several decent ones in the cupboard outside by the front door. I know I've got a rear mud guard downstairs. I'm just not sure if I've got a spare front one. If I have, it's going to be in the cupboard as well up here. And I've got to go in there anyway to uh, find the seat post because I've got a box full in there. Uh, a black one would be nice actually. It'd match the um, little bars if I've got one. What shitty rusty black one down there that came out of this thing. Uh, it might clean down with some wild wool, but I don't think I'll bother. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I'm going to change, take off of this one as well. I'm going to take both dryers off. A chain. Mm, I'll, pr I'll have a closer look at that, but it doesn't look seized up. It just looks like it needs a soak in oil, so that's probably what I'll do with that. I do believe my chain splitter is up here. Yeah, it's there. That's right then. Let's split the chain. I am paranoid though, because I keep breaking these, but they're the only ones in town I can get a hold of. And I've had one off eBay, and they're just about the same quality, so I thought, well, I might as well get them from in town. At least I know I can just walk into town and get one as and when I need one. But, um, with these ones... I get them from Wilco, and they, they're good for several uses, but I've actually snapped this whole block off the end before. This whole bit snapped straight down there on a few of them, so... Yeah, I don't know if it's just me being too heavy-handed on them, or if it is just a... So I think these are like five ninety nine, six ninety nine, something like that. So I wouldn't have called them, ex you know, extremely cheap. In fact, you can get them cheaper on eBay, but they're probably just the same quality or if not worse so if anyone knows of a better brand I mean I don't mind forking out a lot more than what I pay for that if the tool is going to be decent and last um, so yeah <laughs> Because uh, I'm probably buying a um, chain split tool like that once every, at least every six months. Depends how frequently I use it. 
I mean, I haven't really done much in the way of work on bikes this summer, surprisingly. Because um, I haven't had many bikes come in, I haven't found any. No, I haven't been offered any. I haven't seen any. No, whenever I see a skip, I do keep my eyes open just to see if one gets thrown on top. I can uh, go knock on the door and ask for. I do see if I can find, you know, keep my eyes open to see if anyone's abandoned any around town. If anything, just for parts. But, uh, nope. It's been pretty quiet. I haven't had any. Anyway, I'm going to rattle on because, uh, this is my second go at the video because I only want to talk about these bikes and I was rambling on for 20 minutes. So, here we go. 10 minutes, short video. So, thanks for watching and, uh, we'll talk to you again in the next video.